Hey everybody, it's Jake from Wild Academy, and today we're going to be talking about functions again, but this time we're going to be creating our own functions. We call this defining the function. To create a function, you just use the keyword function, and then you decide what you want the name of your function to be. So welcome will be the name of this. Inside that, we're going to create parameters for our function, and so we'll just do arg1 as our first argument. In fact, we'll just do one for right now. And then coming below that, we're just going to use our curly braces. Now in between here is what we're going to define what our function will do. And in this case, all we're going to do is we're just going to return. Uh, we're going to print out hello and then supply back whatever the argument was. So arg1. All right. Now coming below the block, all you need to do to call your function is to just type welcome right there and then supply your argument. So I'll do Jake right here. Let me come out of this, do the semicolon app there. Then you can go ahead and save the file and we'll run it. You'll see that hello Jake was returned. Now if I come over here I can actually add a new line here so I could do a string of a new break line. Then if I come down here, welcome. I'll do for a name I'll do let's do Sarah another common name I use enter and you can see hello Jake and then hello Sarah was returned. Now this is a simple function it just returns one thing just or it just prints one thing but you can see how if we wanted to do like we talked about with other function uh, previously about functions is we can just reuse the same block of code uh, and feed in our arguments from there. All right, so I'm going to show you one more function and this one is just going to be called Adam and this is just going to add two, uh, two arguments. So we'll do arg1, well let's just call this num1, and num2. Bum2, num2, curly braces, come down here, and this one will be easy because we're just going to print out num1 plus num2 there we go then we'll come down here we can just do atom and you wouldn't really need to create this I mean there's obviously easier ways but this is just showing you some math using some math with our functions so to call the function we just use the keyword and then we'll just do six and then a seven right there hit save go ahead and run it and you'll see that it added the two arguments that we supplied here. So six plus seven. Okay, so that was just a quick introduction to defining your own functions, and we'll have more in the next tutorial. Have a good one, guys. Peace.